Hello students, uh, you are warm welcome to E4U digital platform lecture series. I myself uh, Prem Kumar, NEET biology faculty. Today I am going to deal about the topic photosynthesis, dot reaction, Calvin cycle. So the importance of the topic first you must know it is having the drastic impact in MCQ credibility in case of competitive examination. So before getting into this topic how this Calvin cycle it's going to play a huge role in plant food production process. So when you take uh, this ecosystem first producers are plants. So for that plants you need sustaining molecule for its survival that is glucose. So when it comes to the context of glucose we need a glucose synthesis process to take place inside the plant cells for that Calvin cycle play a huge role that Calvin cycle topic we are going to discuss it today it's going to make a good impact in MCQ credibility first Calvin cycle it can also be called it as C3 cycle so why it got the name Calvin cycle the reason is that Melvin Calvin is a scientist one who traced this pathway by working on a species chlorella species he traced this pathway Calvin cycle and why it got the name C3 cycle because the first stable carbon compound is paspoglyceric acid so since paspoglyceric acid is the first stable carbon compound it got the name C3 cycle before getting into this pathway let's discuss about this pathway in depth but still to understand this pathway you should have the overview about the glycolysis pathway major steps glucose glucose 6 phosphate fructose 6 phosphate fructose 1 comma 6 diphosphate dihydroxyacetone phosphate phosphoglyceraldehyde 1 comma 3 diphosphoglyceric acid 3 phosphoglyceride this is the outline of glycolysis major steps why we need to discuss about this in Calvin cycle because Calvin cycle is also can term it as a reversal of glycolysis so first remember the shortcut glucose glucose fructose fructose dap pagal 1 comma 3 di pega 3 pega let me repeat it glucose glucose fructose fructose dap pagal 1 comma 3 di pega and 3 pega just keep this shortcut term in mind so that once if we finish this pathway you will come to know the importance of this shortcut so let's start the pathway the pathway it's making a huge impact in plants by synthesizing the glucose that pathway first starts with the RUBP molecule is a 5 carbon compound RUBP ribulose 1,5 biphosphate is the universal CO2 acceptor so this molecule once the CO2 will get fixed here in the presence of enzyme Rubisco Rubisco is the most abundant enzyme in the biosphere that can effectively fix the CO2 molecule in this pathway. Once this 5 carbon compound will combine with the CO2 in the presence of Rubisco it yields 6 carbon unstable compound. So the 6 carbon unstable compound first it will not form a stable compound first it will form a 6 carbon unstable compound that undergo the reaction hydrolysis let me just mention it here splits by hydrolysis once it splits by hydrolysis it gives rise to two molecule of stable 3 paspoglyceric acid so here the first stable product is the 3 paspoglyceric acid that's why this pathway can also be called it as C3 cycle and these three paspoglyceric acid by utilizing the energy energy usually in the form of ATP by utilizing the two molecules of ATP it will get convert into two molecule of 1 comma 3 diphosphoglyceric acid that is a 3 carbon compound in the first position and third position there will be a phosphate molecule fixing so that we will get a 2 molecule of 1 comma 3 diphosphoglyceric acid 
once this 1 comma 3 dipascoglyceric acid will get formed in this pathway here in next step you can notice two molecules of NADPH2 will get utilized because of this H2 this acid is going to turn it as aldehyde 3 paspoglyceraldehyde 3 paspoglyceraldehyde this acid because of this H2 it will get converted into 3 paspoglyceraldehyde these 3 paspoglyceraldehyde will get isomerizes with a dihydroxy acetone phosphate it's also a 3 carbon molecule here also 3 carbon and here also 3 carbon but when we compare the stability because stability is needed to undergo the reduction reaction so here this PGAL is more stable this dihydroxy acetone phosphate is unstable this stable molecule it forms a two molecule here it got formed two molecule these two molecule from this one molecule undergo regeneration reaction and one molecule will get enter into the molecular conversion it's a kind of reduction here fructose 1 comma 6 by phosphate then fructose 6 phosphate then in short form I'll write G6P means glucose 6 phosphate then glucose but what is our ultimate aim in this pathway ultimate aim of this pathway is 6 carbon compound synthesis so here glucose got synthesis for this glucose conversion one molecule entered here one molecule is getting entered into regeneration process very important process because RUBP has to get re regenerated once it will get regenerated then only it can enter into next cycle since this cycle is going to play a crucial role in plants so this one molecule will get entered into regeneration stage and it will form erythrose it's a four carbon compound then this erythrose will form an intermediate sedoheptulose it's a seven carbon compound these two strong intermediates will get formed through regeneration process after this sedoheptulose will form an intermediate RUMP what it does mean RUMP means ribulose monophosphate this ribulose monophosphate will get convert into RUBP by utilizing ATP molecules so let me come to the major steps that is involving this is the pathway but in this what is the major steps is involving you must know that one this is carboxylation since CO2 fixation is occurring here to form a stable product so carboxylation after this a reduction reaction occurs reduction because we need a glucose molecules because this is the major pathway to synthesize the glucose this is a reduction reaction yields glucose then it has to get regenerated regeneration regeneration so three major steps I'll mention it here for Calvin cycle one is carboxylation a reduction then regeneration so this is a carboxylation then re reduction then regeneration these are all the three major steps is involving to form a needed molecule that is glucose so let's talk about how much energy utilization is involving in this pathway because to form a one molecule of glucose it needs to complete a six turns why because the carbohydrate molecule involving in this uh, Calvin cycle is having the carbon number six for example if you see glucose C6 H12O6 carbon number is six so we need six turns to complete this pathway to produce a one molecule of glucose so for this six turns see look at this first turn in this first turn 
very particularly here you can observe the two molecules of ATP involvement here one molecule so for one turn we have three ATP means then for six turns here I mentioned six turns for six turns we must know six into three eighteen ATP and how much NADPH2 molecule utilized here so you can very clearly see that here in this place the involvement is there two molecules of NADPH2 so here if I put for six turns to NADPH2 means then that gives rise six into two 12 NADPH2 so totally we need 18 ATP and 12 NADPH2 molecules to synthesize a one molecule of glucose and also how much time taken time taken to complete this pathway so one turn is equal to 15 seconds then what about six turns six turns is equal to 90 seconds 90 seconds will be the time taken to complete this pathway to produce a one molecule of glucose so one molecule of glucose this glucose is important and also this calvin cycle majorly taking place where it majorly taking place in stroma of chloroplast since this is coming under the dark reaction because dark reaction does not depending on the light it is depending on the product of light reaction what is product of light reaction is nothing but assimilatory powers what it got utilized here ATP and NADPH2 this both got utilized and we produce the one molecule of glucose under the Calvin cycle we learned this thing so in this pathway what you should learn as primarily that is glycolysis shortcut glucose glucose fructose fructose dapagal 1 comma 3 dipega 3 pega look at here glucose glucose fructose fructose dapagal 1 comma 3 dipega 3 pega so majority of the reaction involving in calvin cycle it's solely depend on glycolysis that's why it can also be called it as reversal of glycolysis And also, in case of competitive examinations, these turns as well as time taken as well as the site of occurrence plays a huge role in case of MCQ. In C3 pathway, you have to remember RUMP will form a RUBP and that will give rise to 3 PGA, 3 phosphoglyceric acid. Other thing, it will be a reversal of glycolysis. Thank you.